To add a pleat axe line between two points, begin by selecting the two points with the select tool and go to the pleats menu and choose add pleat axe. This will draw in the pleat line. To add a pleat by an angle, first add a point on the segment where you want the pleat to begin. Here I'll add it in the middle of the shoulder and then we go to the pleats menu and choose add by angle. To go straight down the pattern to the left I will choose 180 degrees. Now I'll go back to the select tool and double click on the pleat line and choose if it's going to be a box pleat or a knife pleat. Choose open pleat and define the depth. Then click OK and the pleat has been inserted into the pattern. To edit an existing pleat, you can either double click on a pleat line to bring up the pleat attributes, or select the pleat, go to the pleats menu, and choose Edit Pleat. To close all pleats on a pattern, go to the pleats menu and choose Close All Pleats. And quickly, I've closed all my pleats on this pattern. If you want to open one pleat at a time, select the pleat by clicking on the pleat line and go into the pleats menu and choose Open Selected Pleat. To open all pleats, go to the pleats menu and choose Open All Pleats. And to close a selected pleat, just simply select the pleat you want to close, go to the pleats menu and choose Close Selected Pleat. You can use the Shift key to do more than one pleat at a time. Here I'm selecting two pleats and closing the selected pleats. To close all pleats on a pattern, go to the pleats menu and choose close all pleats. And quickly I've closed all my pleats on this pattern. If you want to open one pleat at a time, select the pleat by clicking on the pleat line and go into the pleats menu and choose open selected pleat. To open all pleats, go to the pleats menu and choose open all pleats. And to close a selected pleat, just simply select the pleat you want to close, go to the pleats menu and choose close selected pleat. You can use the shift key to do more than one pleat at a time. Here I'm selecting two pleats and closing the selected pleats. To create a pleat by selecting the points first, begin by selecting the two points and go into the pleats menu and choose create box or knife. You can choose box, knife, variable pleat, or straight pleat. Here I'm putting a one inch depth and the total number of pleats is one. Click OK and the pleat has been inserted. So you have the option of either using the pleat tool first to draw on the pleat or select the two points and then choosing box or knife pleat.